Hello again and welcome back to MFTV and the big question today is was it or wasn't it? Yes, did that guy behind the Chelsea goal yesterday have a toothbrush in his mouth or a lollipop? To me and everyone else it definitely did look like a toothbrush which begs the question uh, why wasn't he using it a few hours earlier at home? Also, is it the strangest thing that you've ever seen at a football match? Uh, can you top that? Leave a message and let me know. To serious matters though, and Sir Alex Ferguson could be even in even more trouble with the FA after having a go at the referee Martin Atkinson from yesterday's defeat at Chelsea. Here's the Daily Mirror. Now, this is a back page and Fergie thinks that the free kick from which Chelsea scored should never have been awarded. Also Fergie believes that not only was da Drogba offside, did he a Drogba the striker offside, but he also pulled down Wes Brown before the ball went in. I think Fergie's right on the free kick. Fletcher definitely did get the ball before he got to Ashley Cole. But on the free kick, he's wrong. Uh, on the goal, rather, he's wrong. Drogba would only have been offside had he touched the ball, and he didn't touch the ball. The rules are ridiculous, I know, but that is the case. Drogba would only have been offside had he touched the ball. Got to give Chelsea a quick mention. And they've gone to a shade of odds on to win the title after continuing their incredible run of not conceding at Stamford Bridge since the opening game of the season against Hull. It really is a fortress, Stamford Bridge. Not so good away though, which is why I can't wait for Arsenal versus Chelsea at the Emirates Stadium on November the 29th. And I love this in the Express. I'll just find it for you. Can Arsenal become the first side in the Premier League to score 100 goals in a season? No team's ever done it, or Although Manchester United came close nine years ago when they hit 97 goals. But Arsene Wenger's been in irresistible form with, 90, with 36 goals from their 11 Premier League games so far this season. In six of those games, they've scored four or more goals. And they've also got so many attacking options that I really don't see their superb scoring run coming to an end. And if they need any more inspiration, then let me tell you that the last team to score 100 or more goals in the top flight was none other than the Gunners' hated rival Spurs in the 62-63 season. They scored 111 goals. So can the current Gunners' side do any better? Let me know what you think. Just time to remind you that Stan Collymore's taking uh, about talking about the trouble with the Manchester City defence uh, in his column today. He's also got strong views on what should be done to Rangers fans who rioted in the Champions League the other day. And he hits back at the Spurs supporters that have had a go at skipper Robbie Keane. Make sure you have a look at his column either at mirrorfootball.co.uk or in the Daily Mirror. Also, we're hearing that the former Blackburn defender Colin Hendry and snooker star Jimmy White are among the people who will be going into the next series of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yes, I'm actually being very serious. Uh, I think Stan might do well to swerve that one. Now, just a couple more papers for you. And the Independent say that Phil Brown has had a stay of execution at Hull after one of his big names scored the goal to beat Stoke yesterday. And trust me, you can't get a bigger name than Jan Venegor of Hesselink. Also, Darren Bent may have missed a penalty against his former club Spurs at the weekend, but he's been rewarded with a call-up to the England squad by the England manager, uh, Fabio Capello. They play uh, Brazil in Doha on Saturday. No place for Michael Owen, though, even allowing for all of the players uh, being injured or rested. He only played six minutes uh, for Manchester United against Chelsea yesterday, even though United are so short of strikers. What do you think? Is that the end in England terms for Michael Owen, or could he bounce back? Let us know what you think. You know how to get in touch by now. Now, I spoke to us about Spurs earlier. A great win for them over a very unlucky Sunderland side at the weekend. And let's just finish on this story. It's in the Daily Mirror, Liverpool man David Maddox saying that Rafa Benitez is mulling over whether to play Torres and Gerrard against Birmingham or to give them the rest that they so desperately need to get over their respective injuries. My own view is that Liverpool can't beat, with respect, Birmingham without Torres and Gerrard then there is something seriously wrong. Nothing wrong with our enthusiasm here. We're going to be back tomorrow with some more MFTV for you. We hope you join us then.